Hi, my name is Dave. I work in the Human Resources section here at the Embassy in Cairo. I've been working with the Information Resource Center to help Egyptians develop the skills necessary to find a job. It's difficult finding a job in Egypt and particularly here in Cairo. We've been teaching skills such as writing an effective resume, networking, and conducting a very solid interview. We hope these have been helpful. Today, we're going to talk about interviewing. The interview is a time where you and the employer are deciding whether you're going to be a match. The employer wants to know whether you can do the job, whether you will do the job, and whether you're going to be a good fit in their organization. At the same time, you're doing the same thing about the company. Is this a place that you want to work? Is it in the right distance? Does, they, does it pay enough? Does it offer the opportunity you're looking for? Make sure you really know what you want and need from your job. This is where you're going to make the match. This is what you really need to know when you go into the interview. Interview preparation is vital. It is important that you know a lot about the company, you know a lot about the position, you know a lot about the whole environment that you might be getting into. Go online, look them up, find out everything you can. You want to be able to ask very intelligent questions about their business, their business strategy, what they do, what their purpose is. You also want to be able to answer questions about what the position might be. This is the time you want to look very prepared. You want to look like you've taken this opportunity very seriously. So make sure you prepare. There are two basic types of interviews you may encounter. One of them is just a one-to-one -one interview. You may meet with a hiring supervisor, you may meet with human resources, you might meet with somebody else to discuss the job. It's one-to-one -one and it's pretty straightforward. The more common interview is a panel interview. This is the interview in which you're going to sit on one side of the table and you may be facing two, three, four or more people on the other side. They will all ask questions. They're probably going to take turns asking questions. Make sure when one person asks you a question, you start by looking at them and then you can take your attention to the others, but make sure you answer all the questions fully. In arriving for the interview, a few things to remember. First, arrive early. Never arrive late. There's no excuse for not being prepared. After all, they're looking for problem solvers, and if you couldn't solve the problem of arriving on time, you've lost the interview. Dress appropriately. Whatever their normal dress is, this is how you want to dress. Look energized. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes open. You want to look confident. I see too many people come into an interview with their head down, looking very nervous. I know you're nervous but you need to put on the face that you're confident, you're energized, and this is very exciting for you. This is how you want to show up to every interview. Interview questions really are going to center on two things. Are you willing to do the job and will you fit into their company? Now the first part, will you do the job, is going to center around wages, it's going to center around opportunities, it's going to center around kind of how they do their job. They may ask questions about what is your salary requirement, what are your aspirations in the next five years, what kind of management style do you prefer. Be ready with these answers, you're going to be asked. Other types of questions that you'll get in a typical interview will be about whether you're going to fit into the company. Are you suitable for the size of company? Do you have the right personality? Do you have the right management style? There are many things that will indicate whether you're going to be a good fit. I can teach you skills. I can teach you how to run software. I can teach you how to write. I can't teach you how to fit in. This is going to be probably the most important part of the interview. Many companies are now asking behavioral questions. These are very, very important and common types of questions. They want to know how you've performed, how you've acted in certain situations. They may ask, give me an example of when. Tell me about a time when. They're going to be asking about when things did not go well, when you're going to miss a deadline. They want to find out how you handled stress. They want to how you know how you handle yourself when you're about ready to fail. The key to answering these questions are about what happened, what did you learn, and how did you improve, how did you solve your problem. Remember, you're solving the company's problems, but you're also solving your own problems. This is what they're looking for. Near the end of the interview, they're going to turn it around on you and ask, do you have any questions for us? Yes, you do. Never say no. You want to know a lot of things about this company that you probably haven't heard about already. You want to know about how you're going to be trained. 
You may want to ask about all the travel may be involved, how many people you're going to supervise. You might want to ask about who's going to supervise you. A really good question to ask them, I would ask them what they see as the challenges and priorities for the position for the next six months. They're going to probably tell you exactly what you'll be doing, what you'll be focusing on. It's going to give you an opportunity one more time to talk about how you've solved problems and how you're going to come in and solve those problems for them. This is a good opportunity to show how serious you are about this interview. At the end of the interview, it is your job to find out what the next steps are. Find out whether they're going to call you, find out whether you should call them, find out what the time frame is. You just want to know what to expect. Then, when you leave, the first thing you should do is go home and send a thank you email to all of those who've interviewed you. If you have one email address, maybe the hiring supervisor or the HR representative, make sure you say thank you. It's important. It might be the one thing that will make you different than everybody else interviewing. Say thank you for the opportunity. Maybe add in maybe a sentence about what you've thought about since you went home, some things that you can add about your candidacy. But this is an important part of the interview, to say thank you. So to recap for the interviewing, be prepared. You want to do research on the company. You want to know who they are, what they do, what their purpose is. Arrive early. Arrive dressed well. Make sure you're dressed appropriately. Have energy. Make sure you give them a good handshake. Look at them in the eye. Look energized. Look confident. I know you're nervous, but look confident. Be ready for all the questions you can expect. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? In every level, you want to talk to them about how you're a problem solver. You've solved your own problems. You've solved a company's problems. Be ready with questions. When they ask you if you have questions, say yes and ask them. Be ready with the responses. And finally, say thank you. As soon as you get home, send them an email saying thank you for the opportunity. This might be the one thing that will set you apart from every other applicant, every other candidate. If you do all these very well, you're going to have a new job. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Good luck.